Right, Bob Fisher, BBC Tees, we're on 95 FM DAB and online, bbc.co.uk slash tees. Uh, delighted to say joining me in the studio. Uh, well, uh, kind of, what, what a fine collection of people with me here tonight. Uh, shall I just open all the microphones and say one big kind of collective hello? Do you want to do a sort of half-hearted cheer to prove that you're here? Hey! hey! That's not half-hearted, that's full-blooded. <laughs> Uh, but th- thanks for coming in. Uh, we've got the <laughs> that was so scary. Uh, we've got the Monkfish Word Tank Collective uh, here with us in the studio. I don't know why I'm saying us. It's only me here tonight. Uh, Claire Morgan as well from the National Poetry Organisation Apples and Snakes, who's a regular visitor to the program and poet in residence at Ark. Hello, Claire. Hello, hello, Bob. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you, yes. Uh, thanks Thanks for coming in. Uh, you've been threatening for some time to bring Mother in with you. That's why he's made mistakes, folks. He's looking at my big blue eyes. I, I, to, to be honest, Claire, that is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, but thanks for... I had this habit of doing this to <laughs> men, you know. I've got a very sexy voice. Yeah, OK, Mum, that's, that's quite enough. Yes, yes. this is this is Mother. Yes. And uh, hello, dears. And, and she uh, was uh, threatening to come and see you for a while. Mm. And she's here now. Fabulous. I am indeed. Well, thank, so, thanks for coming in, Mother. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is, uh, are you and Mother a long-standing double act, Claire? Um, are we a long-standing double act? Too long, if you ask me. <laughs> Just keep it clean, all right? We're pre-watershed. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the dingo when we've got this over and done with. We'll all do right, that. Bingo yeah. after nine o'clock, right. no problem. Oh, tequila. <laughs> yeah, all right, Mum. Yes, we are lang- We have been working together in a creative partnership, yes. haven't we, for a while? Well, I suppose you could call it that. <laughs> yeah, so, and, uh, and we've done a number of events, including at Edinburgh Fringe. Oh, don't go to that. Oh, most of the people haven't had a wash for six months. <laughs> and it was very interesting, creative, sure, yeah, with a yeah. show called The Spiritual Injury Tour, didn't we? It was an injury and all on the ear. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's uh, been an interesting journey, hasn't it? I should point out here that if anybody would like to use the webcam at BBC Tees tonight, you can do that, bbc.co.uk slash tees. Go down to the webcam box at the bottom. There's one in front of us and one behind us if you'd like to see mother in the studio then you can there's kind and of I'm this, single all right <laughs> there's kind of there's a bit of bet lynch about mother i think well she did a, model herself on my glamour you know there's a there's a blonde Julie beehive and a, yeah, bit of, and a bit of leopard skin going on oh yes so has the uh, claire has the um uh, the ventriloquism been a long-standing part of your uh, your repertoire then uh, no, it hasn't been a long standing of my <laughs> repertoire. I just picked this idiot up. Right, can I speak now? Um, no, it's um, it, it's it was part of a of a character that I had called Domain Jane. Oh, not all. Um, and uh, basically, uh, we wondered what her character, what her mother would look like right, as a poetry okay. character. And uh, a friend and I were in a pub after a gig one night, and we thought started with sock puppets and. It kind of gravitated into this interesting man-eating, big knicker-wearing <laughs> siren, really, didn't it? Yes. So uh, it was, uh, yeah, it's kind of been an interesting journey. And uh, you started your career, didn't you, with Roger the dog <laughs> on Blackpool Pier? Oh, the thoughts that are running through my mind right yeah, now, Claire. Such memories, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so she's very much a Blackpool girl then, Claire. It's been downhill all the way <laughs> since then, you know. Roger, come back, all is forgiven. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so and we've been to Edinburgh Fringe. We've done Hell's Bells Comedy Cabaret. We've developed all kinds of projects together and she's now a kind of a card carrying well an associate member of the Word Tank Collective. All right. I think so, it's fair to say. So mother's gonna be performing live. Um, with with the with the word tank collective tonight. Uh, she Possibly? is. Yeah, she okay. is. If I must. Yes, yes. I think I, I think uh, you that's must. Pretty much I a think given. You will. Oh, well, all right then. What's been happening in the poetry world recently, Claire? It's oh, been a busy month. It's been really busy. We've had an amazing festival season again this year. Uh, Glastonbury Latitude, fantastic um, showcase at the Poetry in Motion tent at Big Chill Festival. Okay. Featuring our very own word tank, Mike Edwards, champ of Teesside, <laughs> who did an absolutely fantastic set at that. Um, and also at Phrased and Confused in Leicester as well. Brilliant. 
go. Um, Mike's here, so we'll chat. We'll chat to Mike absolutely. about that very shortly. Uh, coming up uh, as ever, the Ark uh, in Stockton uh, has got a fantastic lineup of spoken word this season. They're kicking off on the twenty third of this month with Articulate, which we Apples and Snakes are curating, and we're going to be headlined that night by the wonderful unmissable Mr Lem Sissy oh, fabulous. one of the most exciting um, poets in the country bar none and the fabulous Teesside favourites Exaban which is Bob Beagree and Andy Willoughby they will be performing with a little bit of jazz oh, uh, okay, and a bit nice. of music thrown yeah, in okay. some new material so that will be really interesting I never had um, Bob Beagree down as a jazz man oh well you see nice <laughs> nice <laughs> obviously nice and also um, local uh, Newcastle writer Sherry Mack. So that's going to be a fantastic night. Do not miss that. That's on the 23rd of September, 7.45. Tickets only three quid. So get yourselves down to Articulate. On the 1st of October, uh, The Ark is also hosting... Now, this guy's fabulous. If you could bottle and sell the energy that Inua Ellums has as a spoken word artist and performance poet, you would have it flying off the shelves. Okay. Um, he's bringing his one-man show, The 14th Tale, which is a fast-moving story about growing up in the streets of Nigeria and then moving to Dublin and finally to London. And he recreates characters... Um, through fantastic poetry, fantastic um, heart-beating performance and, and exploring what it is to be a young black guy today, basically, and weaving all of his different life experiences. So that's for real high-octane poetry performances. If you like it that way, don't miss Inua Ellums in the 14th tale on the 1st of October. Tremendous stuff. Sounds like Brilliant. a busy couple of months ahead. Oh, loads to come. Absolutely All right. loads to come. I should say, if uh, if you want to find out more about these, then arconline.co.uk is probably a good place to go as well. Absolutely. And for Articulate, you can also visit the Apples and Snakes website, which is www.applesandsnakes.org. Okay.